Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be preparing to 3D print the lamp we have been modeling in the past tutorials. If you are unsure of how to access Fusion 360's in-program tutorials, please follow the provided link. Start by going to the top menu. Select File, 3D Print. Now select one component or body to 3D print. I will select our lamp neck. In the 3D Print pop-up window, select Preview Mesh. If your mesh preview does not appear like mine did, it is most likely because you have not downloaded Autodesk's Print Studio. To do so, simply click the button in the tutorial window, download the file, and install as so. Now when you click Preview Mesh, your mesh preview should appear immediately. You may change the refinement to High, Medium, Low, or Custom. If you choose Custom, you may edit the Surface Deviation, Normal Deviation, Maximum Edge Length, and Aspect Ratio. For the output, be sure that Send to 3D Print Utility is selected. Click OK. Your model will automatically open in the Autodesk Print Studio. My neck is gigantic, towering over the simulated print deck. I will click Fit to Bed in the top right to automatically scale my lamp neck. Then I will rotate it 90 degrees. Go to the top menu and select Position, Move to Bed. In my professional opinion, this will be the best orientation for our print. Click Start Preparation. Your supports and other features will automatically be generated if they are necessary. Now select Preview Print. You may adjust the Slice and Depth Preview to observe how your print will commence. Most 3D printers on the market require an STL file. This means stereolithography. For example, if you are printing with a MakerBot, you probably want to use an STL file. So rather than saving, we will select File Export as STL. You may print directly from your computer or save your file to a USB and then plug the USB into the front face of the MakerBot. Please enjoy a time lapse of my 3D print that I filmed using my new GoPro Hero 4. To view my GoPro unboxing video, please click the following link. This has been a presentation of the 10th in-program tutorial Fusion 360 has to offer. Please visit the following links to view the next and previous tutorials in this series. Laser cutting in Fusion 360 and modal frequencies simulation in Fusion 360. As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.